first clip you saw was 6 30 a.m um i actually wake up at 5 or 5 30 depending on the day um but what you saw was me making my second coffee of the day and i had already had my breakfast which was almond butter and my mom's homemade jam on toast yeah yeah so i have work today um i work monday to friday i like my day job go clearly i'm not an actual youtuber like i'm a youtuber in the sense of I make videos but like i don't make money well i do make money but not enough to live on it's like 20 dollars a month that's <laughs> what i get off of videos mainly for my beating videos any of you watching this came here because of my beating videos because that's that's not happening at this moment you know i don't know so i park at like a gas station and then i go to work um so yeah let's get some work done in my car um I did a little bit of an elevator dance on my way to getting lunch uh because it is payday I like to have a little bit of a payday treat uh so I got the Subway Beyond Meat uh meatball marinara which is uh, I get mine on Italian bread with tomato onion and black olives and that is my little vegan treat. I love the Beyond Meatballs, they're so good. So uh, I had a really good day at work. Uh, my boss was back from vacation, so we kind of caught up on what's been happening the week she was gone, because I'm the office manager. So basically I was updating her on that, and I was continuing on what I'm doing, doing a lot of events coming up, so I'm very excited about that. And that's pretty much what my day at work was. There was a lot of writing, a lot of podcast listening. Um, I was listening to... Uh, who was I listening to? I listened to The Mustards. I listened to My Brother, My Brother, and Me. I listened to uh, Philip DeFranco. Um, I forget what his podcast is called, but I like watch it on YouTube. So I was listening to the one with uh, Sophia and Tyler. It's the one I was listening to. So I really like uh, I really like podcasts and audiobooks when I'm working because it's really helpful for me to get things done and to be more productive is to listen to something or even like split screen, do something here and have a video going. I don't know why that's really helpful for me, but it is. I think I'm going to go and get some work done at Starbucks maybe. Um, I'm working on the Seamwork uh, Design Your Wardrobe. I don't have my sewing Bible with me, which has my Design Your Wardrobe stuff in it, along with my uh, looks planner for spring summer. Um, so I have that at home, but I want to watch the videos for that. And I've considered joining what shall be unnamed as of yet, the the website all youtubers and podcasters tell you to go to to learn things but i'm considering joining that to look and learn how to better edit videos and possibly also composting because now that i own my home i can actually start composting and i can actually start recycling which is really exciting for me which also makes me be like girl you ain't young and cool anymore not that i was ever cool but you know I'm almost 28, so 
I'll be 28 in November, so, you know, I just gotta give in. I'm an old lady. I get very excited by weird things. So, I'm excited to learn a bit about that. Maybe get better at YouTube because I really love looking at well-edited videos, but I just don't know how to do ed good edits. So I'm thinking of learning some of that editing stuff and seeing what I can do and learn from different YouTubers. I might try and you might see some videos where I'm trying to emulate different creators and things like that. Not like copy them, but like emulate their video editing style to learn and like to, to figure out different editing techniques and to try some different things out because I really want to get better at editing. It's something I really enjoyed doing before and then I just kind of fell out of love with it and started doing a lot of uncut videos and poorly lit videos and things like that and I don't mind poorly lit videos like whatever I'm here to listen to people's messages not like necessarily look at how beautiful the editing is but I do really appreciate nice editing when I see it or editing that I personally enjoy just trying different things out and seeing what happens um, currently I have iMovie on my MacBook still and then I have DaVinci Studio or DaVinci Resolve, I have DaVinci, whatever it is, the free version, on my desktop, so I kind of want to see about going between those two different video editing softwares and see what I can do with them, because I really would like to add more like title screens, maybe making my own title screens, trying things like that. Um, I'm also considering changing my YouTube branding again, maybe working with my friend Carrie again, who did all my YouTube branding. Uh, obviously, as you can see from like the picture of me on my channel header, I don't look like that anymore. And the sad part is I looked very quickly not like that right after she did all my branding and stuff. I do love my bunny bat, but I'm kind of like, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a branding class. I don't know. YouTube guys, it's a trip. But I really enjoy doing it and I used to really, really, really love doing every part of making videos and I would like to enjoy editing again. Whereas right now editing for me is more like cutting out bits where I just really, really done messed up in video and that's it, just kind of going slapdash. But I'd like to do a little bit more fancier things, do some nice twiddly bits. I don't know. We'll Head to Starbucks. Um, I'm kind of upset right now. They won't let you use your uh, reusable cups right now because of coronavirus. And like, I understand, like, I don't want people coming at me in this video. I understand it is protect their baristas, protect their workers because they deserve to be protected as well. It's just like really upsetting because I'm really hyper aware of waste I'm creating right now because I'm doing a challenge where the first two weeks I'm analyzing my waste. And so it's like, I'm still living as normally. I'm not doing a lot of changes, but I'm so hyper aware. And I usually do bring my own cups to, like my own coffee cup and own water cup too. Cause like I have um, my portable coffee cup and my portable, uh, this is for water or cold drinks, but it's from Starbucks, but I usually have, these are both from Starbucks actually. Um, I usually have both of these with me, but I mean, I still have it with me, but they're not currently And second cup is also not allowing it or Tim Hortons. So like all places are not allowing it because of coronavirus and not wanting to spread it to employees, which I get, I completely understand, but it's just like, it's like the moment I'm hyper aware of my waste in order to go out and get a coffee, I kind of. I'm creating waste. I don't know how to feel about that right now because it's like, I get it, but I'm just kind of, it, it's like a weird disappointing thing in myself because I still really want to go to Starbucks and get a coffee. So maybe we'll analyze that when it comes to the time to analyze my waste in two weeks time and during week three, we'll see. So I 
I'm heading to my car. I'm gonna be going into Sobeys to grab some grab some groceries because it is Friday on a payday and that's usually when I grab a couple of extra groceries to fill things out, especially fruits and vegetables. So sit by the Starbucks. I definitely learned some stuff about DaVinci Resolve. I'm really excited about that. There's a great course, it's like a five hour long course. I've literally watched like 25, 30 minutes of it. And I've already learned so much because the first, oh no, the first half hour is entirely, uh, the first half hour is entirely uh, just like a beginner intro course. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of enjoying that. Um, and so far I've learned quite a lot, so kind of pumped about that, you know, looking forward to trying it out when I get home uh, and on this video as well. I've learned some things about transitions and things about adding titles and things. I'm really excited to try things out. So hopefully on this video there's a little bit of editing magic. Ooh. So we'll see what happens. Let's go to the grocery store. tripod here's what happened so this is the base of the phone tripod and this is the part that attaches to your phone this part's fine but you can see I've added some industrial glue there this part pulled off of the ball like the ball joint so this is kind of like that right now I've put on some industrial glue it needs to dry so now we're back to awkward camera angles but I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about what I got at Sobeys. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit of a lower impact, lower waste, but also I can't resist good vegan food. So these are new from Old Dutch. Um, my aunt works at Old Dutch actually, but, or she did. Maybe she retired? Did she retire? She retired, yeah. But vegan cheese and chive, hello. I bought two because when you bought two, you saved two dollars and they were also 50 cents off each if you bought two. So I got three dollars off. I'm definitely going to be eating all these because I used to love sour cream and onion and I think that cheese and chive is going to be similar to sour cream and onion. So I got those. Um, then I also got, ta-da, mushrooms. They had mushrooms in bulk that you can like get. The problem is you can't tear like T-A-R-E your thing so this has a tear weight of 0 0.017 pounds so i had to pay for the extra weight of the bag but it's a very very light bag so this was like a dollar 83 of mushrooms which uh this is enough for a couple of diff couple of meals for me i have actually one meal in mind for all the stuff i got today um not all of it being used for a single meal obviously but like each item being used in that single meal too if that makes sense my idea is spaghetti with a vegetable medley on top, like a really fun, lots of greens and yummy things. So that's the idea. So 
mushrooms as part of that because hello, mushrooms with pasta, delicious. Also mushrooms on pizza, delicious. Mushrooms are great. This is one of the things that I can almost always guarantee I can get zero waste. Like literally you can use, they have paper bags there for you to use, but brought my own little mesh bag, ta-da. Uh, next thing I got was pasta sauce. I always get it in glass jars because I can reuse these glass jars when I go to the bulk store. Or of course, pass them on to friends and family who are trying to build up their jar collection, but I'm personally trying to build up my jar collection now because I'm very new to a attempting low impact stuff. We'll see. Um, usually I don't even use those plastic produce bags. So I'm that person that always goes through with their naked produce on the belt. You just need to wash it when you get home and you should be washing it when you get home anyway. So let's see what we have. In my bag of goods, I brought my Canada bag. This is actually from Walmart, but I've shopped at Sobeys. So, my receipt, of course. First thing I got was Swiss chard. I've actually not had Swiss chard many times in my life, but I Googled it and it says it's like spinach, but a little bit more bitter. So I thought, in pasta, it would be quite delicious. There's this one piece that's very limp, but the rest of it looks quite hearty and nice. Um, I know that my friend Di really likes Swiss chard, so got some Swiss chard to try out, and I'm going to chop it up and put it into the spaghetti sauce, I think, and then everything else I wanna make a medley of, but this will go really nicely in the spaghetti sauce, and there's also different ways that you can like do up your chard with lots of flavor and stuff, so that's one thing I got. The next thing I got is broccoli. It's one of my favorite vegetables, even since I was a kid. Broccoli and carrots were my two favorite vegetables as a kid. In fact, they're the only vegetables I would eat besides potatoes, but broccoli. And I, I always ate my broccoli raw growing up. I didn't like it cooked at all, but now I do like it cooked. I like it roasted and I like it fried and I like it just like if you throw it into something, so broccoli. And of course, if any of this go starts going bad, I can give it to my rat, but I try to eat it up as I can. I love lots and lots of broccoli, so I got a nice, well, this like, it's usually supposed to be like the big heads are a certain price per broccoli, but then they did like a rubber band with a bunch of broccolis in it because they only have little heads today. So, go in for that. Next, they had a sale on asparagus, which I think I'm going to uh, break up into smaller pieces and fry it with onions and oil and broccoli and red pepper and throw that all on top of my spaghetti. I think that would be really fun. Um, asparagus, another good green, one that I really like. I like it roasted. I like it steamed. I like it fried. Give me some asparagus, my dudes. So that's what I got. And then last but most certainly not least, everybody's favorite vegan thing, bananas. The thing with bananas at my place is literally every single freaking banana has a sticker on it, which is like, but at least there's no plastic in the sticker. So we got some bananas. Um, I do have some apple. I have two apples to use up in my fruit bowl. Uh, one of them's getting a little bit old. And then I've got some kiwis that are starting to get a little bit old as well. But I can throw these kiwis into a smoothie. And then the apples, I can just cut off the bad parts and basically go to town. So, apple. So I've got some fruit, I got lots of veggies, I'm going to be making some spaghetti. All of my pots are currently in my dishwasher, so those are being washed. And then once those are done, I will make me some food. I put 
my dishwasher on the eco setting because I thought it would go faster, but turns out that's a fucking lie because it's now 946 and it just finished. So, um, I washed my veggies. Look how delightful and beautiful. But now it's also like stupid late and I kind of don't want to eat anymore. Also, I ate almost that entire bag of chips. Not both. I've got... I have the other one right there <laughs> for tomorrow. But I ate almost an entire bag of chips, so I'm done with that. So I'm going to put these uh, beautiful veggies away, and then I'm going to go to bed. And maybe show you a bit of my nighttime routine. Yeah. Sometimes when your chihuahua won't calm the F down and is going a little nuts, sometimes you just gotta meditate through it. Um, at night, I always set a glass of water on my nightstand and I always write down three things that I am uh, feeling gratitude for uh, every day, or I try to do that every day, and then I try to meditate. Um, right now I'm doing headspace and I'm on three minutes a night and I'm hoping to work my way up eventually to the full 10 minutes, but right now the three minutes is pretty much what I can handle, especially with Beaner Beaner, Pumpkin Eater. He's actually nuts. Like he was so calm when I was on the computer. He was so good, and now he's just nuts because mommy can pay attention to me now. This is his favorite toy. It's a penguin with a rattle in it. So I'm pretty much settled into bed. It is about 10 o'clock at night right now. Um, usually I go to bed at 9 and wake up about 5 or 5.30. But today, but tomorrow is Saturday and I'm doing volunteer training from 9.30 to 12.30. Just like noon 30, I guess. So... I'm gonna stay up a little bit longer, but I'm going to lay in bed, watch a couple of videos on YouTube, then go to sleep. So, Ooh. I'm gonna wish you guys good night here, but I hope that you enjoyed this little day in the life, and hopefully I got some editing. Uh, hopefully I learned something from the little course I was looking at today, so we'll see how much of that stuck. Bye, guys.